Welcome. It's Documentation Office Hours. This is the first day of September 2023. Thanks for being here. Topics that I had on my list, quick overview of blog posts, brief discussion of Google Summer of Code. We were hoping that Ashutosh might join us. And then some leftovers from previous, previous sessions about plugin bill of materials version, Java 11, 17, and 21. And that's pretty much it of topics that I've got. Chris, any that you want to add? Um, maybe for GUI some of code add. Um, I'm thinking like um, oh maybe it's good. Yeah. Okay. So those those two topics are sufficient. I think so. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. And I've got one. Mark show his picture. Draft form. Okay, good. All right, so let's get started then. We've got three blog posts that have come in in the last week. One from Bruno Varachtin on his experiences running Jenkins on Risk Five with Java Twenty One, and then we've got a blog a blog post from Ashutosh Saxena for Docker Compose summaries. And another one from Harsh Pratap Singh on his results with GitLab plugin modernization. Thanks to all of them. Google Summer of Code. Anything you'd like to highlight there, Chris? Um, maybe you highlight like uh, we have like um the Docker Compose project successfully completed, even though it's like not all the not all the items in scope were like um were, were have been done to satisfaction but so it was good it was good progress um where well it, yeah. if i remember it it's four or five tutorials that yeah. now now execute with a single command right yeah. uh and then in terms of remaining work we've got to create whoops remaining create a docker container repository on in Jenkins Infra. Ah. And we've got to create a Docker, what would you call it, folder on Docker Hub and create jobs to maintain those containers. But it's already got, um, already has the maintenance configured just not yet running on uh, not not yet running on ci.jenkins.io okay great excellent yeah this this is i just i was just reading comments from a user who was saying hey such and such a switch doesn't work in the tutorial and it was one of a long and involved set that is now completely removed. Once we get this finally integrated, it will be gone and they'll just type Docker Compose up and yep. much better, much, much better. Yeah, agree. All right. Anything you wanted to note on version documentation and, and Vandit's progress? Uh, yep. So it's like we, I think we have finally have a like, um, um, like an almost workable function, um, uh, the draft for the entire site, except for the pages we haven't implemented with Gatsby. Mm, okay. Because like some of the pages, uh, will be implemented in Gatsby, and uh, those needs, those will need to be integrated into the whole website, and um, we have like abandoned the idea of using a Strapi backend. Even, even though that was um that was waste during the mm -hmm. discussion before with the community. So um we're gonna simplify the process. So, so we're gonna retain the existing reviewing process for blog posts. Oh, okay. So you'll use GitHub. Yep. Ah, very good. Okay. I like that. That's I like the simpler the simple approach. That's that's great. Excellent. Yeah. Any any concept of what are the next steps? 
next step would be to focus on uh, checking the entire site links since like um we have fixed most broken links previously but uh from, from previously but um but there might still be some broken links somewhere so mm. we have to manually check them because i track with i track with um check with ben did and he told me like the only thing that we we, we currently have for automation is uh, the logs but um that would get start except like we'll have to analyze like what's in the stock or what's in the logs good okay so the logs give us some report of broken links or i'm not sure i knew i knew, i knew found out more because i went didn't say much about the formats or like what kind of details we can claim from the log files but um Great. Seems like it might be possible to automate it later on to check for like anything broken. Good, very good. Well, then certainly there are there are automated link checkers, so that that's a that's that's happened. We've done that before and and generated long lists of oh here are a bunch of broken links from Jenkins.io already. So I think I I I see good hope for later automation. Not not required immediately, but good good chance to apply it later. Yeah, but but for now, like we have to check, like we have to split the like the all the all the lines between us, and we have to check manually. Ah, uh, right. The due date in the, in September. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Anything else on version documentation? Um, I think, well, I think for the project, like, we might be able to complete, like, um, all the milestones we've set out to do at the beginning. But, Congratulations. Um, yeah, might be able to, because, like, we, well, the block is now easier to do without the strappy backend. Ah, right. Okay. And... By not using the strappy backend and instead staying with GitHub, you've yeah. you've simplified. I like that. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Anything else on the topic? No, but um, she wants to talk about the other two projects, like maybe Git Lab modernization. The last time, get a plug in yeah modernization. Okay. And also, um, and also for for the for the health probe. Sure. Yeah. So if I get that fucking modernization, we're still weighing on the results for the interactive tasks. Yeah. So that's that's my interactive testing by Mark Wait has been delayed by work. Yeah. And uh, needs more testing more comparison of old and new behavior right yeah. so exactly and see the test outlines that are in the project in the project meeting notes okay good anything else on gitlab plugin modernization mm, nothing else except it's been concluded Successfully, right? Least, Proj yeah. Well, and and positive note for me is Harsh has agreed to continue yeah. as a maintainer, right? He has joined, yeah, he has already joined, and that is a first. Uh, this this is the first time that I know of, anyway, when a uh a a contributor became a maintainer. Okay. So congratulations to Harsh. Yeah. Any did you want to cover plugin health score next? Yeah, we should talk about it a little bit because like um I think like there was I I saw like some discussion on um 
on GitHub before. I'm not sure if it's like related to um the work now, but um I think there was a mentioning of like some kind of an issue. I do let, let me check because I think it was having to do with um like the score being like um like the way it's calculated is not like not ideal or something like that. It was uh, like um on GitHub before they see that. Hmm. Okay. Well, I know that I know that um that Adrian was working. Adrian was was working on what I'd call a code refactoring or a code improvements that that may help to Grudy's work. Okay. Yeah, but um okay, let me try find it. So plugin health scoring. So the project uh is like that was an issue with us uh, for at a pro for fairing those on default branch. So that might be a possible direction for future like contributors to work on. Ah, okay. Yeah. You say, and that's identified in the chat channel? And the GitHub. Oh, uh, no, on GitHub. on GitHub. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah. So it's in the comments of a pull request, or? It's an issue, I think. Oh, it's okay, good. By Alex. Brandon. Ah, very good. Okay. Yeah. So there's one more probe to work on. Very good. Very, very good. Anything else you wanted to note on plug-in health score? Um I think it's like they're working on some like I'm not sure. Like, I'm not entirely sure about uh Jacob's progress because like um she was she wasn't being very clear last time during the meeting. Except like uh, she said like um She's working on the third party repo probe again. And uh it was uh with hold for a while because there was an issue with um how to get the third party repos. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, but I also think like for for Jacuzzi's project, like um, so I'm not. I we'll need to check on the documentation for that project because like I I I'm I'm kind of having the feeling that we might need to act to like add some docs to the work. Okay. But maybe Asia will handle it. I'm not sure. So that that could be like a hack to the first <laughs> project idea. Too. Oh yes, consider it for Hacktoberfest. Good idea. Yeah. Very good. Oh. Oops. Okay. Yeah, my fingers. <laughs> okay. Apparently I'm tired. Okay, resting my fingers on a keyboard. Okay. Anything else to discuss on plug in health score? Mm, no. It's good. Okay, so the next one was on describing how to choose the bill of materials version and no progress since last week sorry but none okay however i spent several hours working on the next one and i wanted to show this to you to get your insights and ideas so what we've got is we've got java 11 reaching end of life in october of 2024 Java 17 has been well supported and Java 21 coming online in sept mid September. And what I was looking at is trying to find a way to describe a proposal for which version should be supported when. Oh, I need to hide some rows. I've got my worries about. Here we go. Let's do this. I'll hide the product that I was worrying about for now. Hide that. 
the CBCI thing is a cloud based product. Okay. And so I, I have to be sure I, I think about them, but in terms of community discussions, we don't have to worry about them as much from the community side. Yeah. Okay. So here's the picture. The idea is today Java 11 is required and that's the blue color and Java 17 is supported. And it's been that way since March of 2022. And we'll continue that way all the way until Java 11 actually reaches its end of life at the end of September, 2024. Okay. The, the reasoning there was we don't want to end that prematurely, but we can't support it after Java, after OpenJDK stops supporting it. Yeah. So then we have to transition. And my initial proposal had been, hey, let's make Java 21 be required. But the feedback I've I've received from the CloudBees Enterprise customers is, no, we need to have a, this transition to Java 17. But what Uli Hoffner has noted and Tim Jacome is, hey, let's simplify this where we can and not some, not spend a lot of time supporting three Java versions all at the same time. So that's why this is trying to get us to a, a state where given a six year uh, lifespan for a Java version. So Oracle releases a Java version and the OpenJDK project takes it up and they'll support it for six years from its release. So 2023, September, goes until 2029 for Java 21. So that's this green bar here. The idea is let's set our goal that first two years of that six-year period, a new Java version is supported but not required. The second two years, the new Java version is required. And then we drop the support of that Java version completely in the third two years so that we're keeping only two Java versions at any one time. We're not carrying around the baggage of three Java versions. But in order to get there with this two, two, two split of the six years period, I had to compress Java 17's support period, required period to only 12 months and Java 21's to only 18 months. Comments, concerns? Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat concerned about the, about the like, uh, but period, like when the versions are supported, because like uh, there might be confusion for the users. Tell me more what you mean there. I'm not sure I understand the question. Because like, um, uh, hang on. So I just want to ask a question first, like for Java 17, for example, uh -huh. uh, it would be required for, for March 25th to September 25th. Yeah. So, so from March of, so we will, we will, we require Java 11 today yeah. and we'll continue requiring Java 11 all the way until the end of September of 2024. Yeah, but, but what about Java 17? It's like, I see it's really fully supported. Java 17, this yellow color is trying to say it's fully supported. It's just not required. But what about between March 26 and um, March 27? During, so at the end of, once we reach October of 2024, yep. OpenJDK no longer supports Java 11. But how and about because, like, oh, uh, 11 is fine, 11 is fine, but 17, 21, 25, 29, I see like a pattern. It's like um, there's a period when the like, version is required, but afterwards it's, it's unsupported. Oh, right. And so the reason... Yeah, that's kind of confusing. So this, you're, you're asking why this red zone here? Yeah. Okay. And the, the intent there was that if we don't make that red zone there, then we end up during the period from, say, March to March, this this 18 month period, we end up supporting three Java versions, 17, 21, and 25. Okay, so that's the only reason. 
right. That was the only reason is to avoid supporting three Java versions at a time. Okay. Okay. I can see like some people might not like it. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Right. That's they, 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 they certainly they're, they're one of the, one of the challenges here, right. Is balancing the, the needs of the users and the needs of the developers. And, and that's, that's what this is trying to strike a compromise there between, Hey, the developers would just as soon support one Java version and not have to do two, but okay. The users, especially enterprise users, say, hey, we take a long time to move from one version to another. You've yeah. got to you've got to support us longer than than your developers are are saying they'll do. I think so, yeah. So the idea is we'll use a transition period where Java 17 won't use the two two two. You know, two years of supported but not required, two years of required, two years of unsupported. It will use one, two, what is that? That's It's like three years of supported but not required, a year of required, and then two years of not supported. Then Java 21 will extend the required period eighteen to 18 months. And then when we get to 25, we're now in the cadence of a year of supported but not required or two years of supported but not required two years of required and then two years of not supported and then if if the project said oh we want to make this that java version that was required supported for longer that's an that's an option we have right we could delay requiring a new java version if we wanted to yeah okay Any any other concerns or comments? No, that's the only concern. All right, that's and that's that's the top. Those are the topics that I had for today. Any other topics? No. All right, let's call today done. I'm going to get some early sleep. Okay. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.